20 non-traditional wedding venues. Nicole and Jason were inspired by Coachella, so they celebrated their wedding day at the infamous California Music Festival. Perfect for couples who are planning to elope or host a more intimate wedding, there is no need to provide entertainment to your guests at a festival setting, it's already there for everyone to enjoy. Lee and Brian were searching for a venue in Minneapolis where they could serve their own brewed beer, and they discovered Uppercut Boxing Gym. If you and your partner work out together or even met at the gym, you will be able to incorporate an important piece of your story through your industrial gym venue. The ultimate Americana wedding has to include a national monument or two, don't you think? There are clear rules about where you can host ceremonies and receptions in Washington, D.C., and the D.C. War Memorial is one location. Kimmy and Nate recited their vows surrounded by a small group of their family members and then joined together for a post-vow picnic. If reading is one of your favorite pastimes, why not celebrate your wedding day at a library? Many of the libraries in cities are grand, elegant, and historic, and were drawn toward this timeless celebration at the Boston Public Library. Couples cite travel as one of the things that inspires them, and an airplane hangar might be one of the ultimate non-traditional wedding spaces. There is ample opportunity to transform the space into one that represents any style, plus the planes make a magnificent backdrop. Take a look at Kelly and Curtis's Camarillo Airport wedding in California. Many of the most popular national parks to host weddings are located out west, and often there are venues available for your reception. However, your ceremony can take place with the park as your backdrop. Kate and Ryan tied the knot at Zion National Park, and the views are incredible. So many couples enjoy coffee, and coffee shops can make wonderful non-traditional wedding venues. Tables and chairs are often on site, your late-night coffee bar will be incredible, and the style of many shops leans toward modern and industrial. Take a peek at Erica and Zach's downtown St. Petersburg, Florida wedding at Intermezzo for even more relaxed inspiration. One of the must-see attractions in many cities is the zoo. Imagine having animals as the backdrop to your wedding day while celebrating in a space that's complete with all of the modern amenities of any other venue. This couple celebrated their day at the Santa Barbara Zoo. If you're searching for a non-traditional wedding venue in a city, look up. Rooftops allow you and your guests to dine and dance outside, plus the height of the venue will enable everyone to enjoy incredible views. This Gallo Green Soiree in New York City looks like a dream. Consider tying the knot at your alma mater. Universities, including Stanford where Julia and Nick celebrated their nuptials, have event staffs who can guide you through hosting your ceremony in an on-site cathedral and then moving to another on-campus space for your reception. Another option for a travel-loving couple is a railroad. Sometimes railroads that are no longer in use open venues so couples can enjoy being in a vintage setting, however, there are also plenty of railroad museums, like the Georgia State Railroad Museum where Taylor and Tom hosted their wedding day. When teams are out of season, or simply off-site, stadiums open their doors to other events, including weddings. Can you imagine tying the knot on the field where your favorite team plays? Kirby and Chris could, so they renewed their vows and celebrated with their guests inside their college stadium. Surprise weddings, like this one featured in the New York Times, are often disguised as engagement or birthday parties with guests learning they're actually attending the couple's wedding upon arrival. In order to keep your surprise under wraps, consider planning your celebration at a venue suitable for the party your guests think they're attending, think, rooftops, restaurants, bowling allies, and more. Caitlin and Adam invited their wedding guests to join them on a glamping trip to the Finger Lakes for their wedding day. Their celebration was hosted at a campground, Firelight Camps, which the couple renamed Camp Kutch, and guests stayed in tents for the weekend. Alpacas are making quite the wedding day companion for many couples and their guests. Alpacas live on farms, and their owners are opening up their livestock's homes to host weddings. As Wedding Chicks says, yes, you can seriously get married on an alpaca farm, particularly Adele House in New Jersey. 
Instead of incorporating vintage pieces into your wedding, why not get married at a vintage store? Feliz and TJ found plenty of inspiration and backdrops for their Philadelphia wedding at Material Culture, which is a completely outfitted warehouse filled with quirky vintage pieces. You have likely stayed at an Airbnb while traveling, but have you considered hosting your wedding at one? BuzzFeed rounded up a list of incredible Airbnb properties throughout the United States that welcome you to host your celebration, and we have to highlight one particular property in Los Angeles, Country Garden Weddings at Greenhouse and Gardens. The owner, Susan, rents out her gorgeous backyard for weddings, and for $2,000 per night, it should definitely top your list. Science museums often have planetariums, and they create a wonderful ambiance for your ceremony. Carly and Rob kicked off their wedding day during a self-uniting wedding ceremony inside the Franklin Institute's Fells Planetarium, where the space required very minimal decor thanks to the awe-inspiring backdrop of stars overhead. If you're a nature buff, may we suggest tying the knot in front of a waterfall? You will likely have to go on a short hike to your destination. However, the photos captured by professionals, like Asheville photographer Carolyn Marie, are well worth it. Whether you and your partner work in the entertainment industry or simply love movies, consider reciting your vows and celebrating with your guests at a movie theater. Cities, like Charleston, South Carolina, have converted vintage movie theater spaces into venues able to accommodate high guests' counts, and the marquee in front of the theater may even display your names for the night, like Caitlin and Austin's celebration. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.